Hello guys, welcome back, and today I'm going to be talking about Ellie Tolvin and his season stats and if they should concern us. Now, Ellie Tolvanen has gone off to a pretty slow start to his North American hockey career, so should we be concerned for his long-term future in the NHL? Watch till the end to find out. Now, Ellie Tolvanen is a left winger slash right winger of the Nashville Predators. He is at age 19 and was drafted 30th back in the 2017 NHL draft, of course, by the Nashville Predators. Now, when we look back at that 2017 draft, I remember it quite fondly in the sense that with Ila Tolvanen, he was a guy that was looked at as maybe being in a top 10 or top 15 pick, maybe even top 10 pick at that time. But then he ended up slipping quite a bit and ended up going all 30 of overall by the National Predators. And obviously, they are pretty happy to take him there. But he was a guy that dropped all the way there and had a brilliant season afterwards. Now, in his draft here, he ended up having some great stats in the USC SHL, having 52 games played and getting 54 points of the Sioux City of Musketeers. But after that season, after his draft year season, he went to the KHL and went on an absolute tear. Now, when it came to that 2017 NHL draft, I knew quite a lot of people that were pretty high on Tolvin and, and the skills of he, he bring. But when he went to the KHL after his draft year, I don't think anybody expected him to put up the points that he did. Now, in the KHL that season with Joker, he ended up playing at 49 games, getting 19 goals, 17 assists for 36 points. And as I think he was an 18-year-old at that time, doing that well in the KHL was practically unheard of. And I remember that season for Tolvanen fondly. It seemed like almost every single month Tolvanen was breaking a KHL rookie record or he was just breaking a, a KHL record in general. That season for him was just outstanding and not a lot of players are able to put up a point per game in the KHL. That's pretty much elite status in the KHL. But Tolvanen was able to get close-ish as an 18-year-old, a rookie KHL player. And that in itself was so impressive that he ended up getting a call up by the National Predators, ended up getting signed that season season and played some games with the Nashville Predators that season. He ended up playing three games at the end of the season for Nashville. Didn't get a point, but was still pretty impressive. But while his seasons in the past in the USHL were pretty solid, he put up some good numbers. In the KHL, nobody expected him to put up the numbers that he did at the age that he did. And it was just an incredible season for him. And that season really propelled his draft, or not his draft stock, but his prospect stock. For a lot of people, they had him as a top five prospect in the entire NHL, maybe top three when it came to NHL affiliated prospects. But he was definitely up there and the hype train on him was definitely real. And while he didn't do too much in the NHL in the three games that he did play last year for the National Predators, going into this year, this year was looked at as a year that Tolvanen would really stay in the NHL, would really compete for the spot, and be a very solid rookie at age 19. And that has really not worked out so far. Right now he is in the AHL, still producing decently, but not in the NHL like many expected. Now, to start out the year, he actually started out with the Nashville Predators. He ended up playing four games and getting a goal and an assist for two points. Not bad stats whatsoever, but after that, he was sent down to the AHL, the Milwaukee Emeralds, and has produced decent up to this point, but probably not what people have expected. Now, his AHL stats so far, at the time I am recording this, he has played 32 games, getting eight goals and nine assists for 17 points. And as a 19-year-old, those stats are pretty solid, but I don't think that's what they really, people really expected after he put up those elite stats in the KHL. Now, when it comes to the KHL versus AHL debate, that's a video for a different time. I think the AHL is slightly better than the KHL when it comes to overall talent level, but I feel like with Tolvanen, he has produced pretty solid up to this point in the AHL, but it's probably not what people were expecting, and the hype train on him was expecting them to be in the NHL and to be producing well in the NHL rather than the AHL. And those stats are good for a prospect for sure in the AHL, especially as a 19-year-old, but the hype that Tolvanen had really told us to expect something better from him and right now, we just aren't seeing the elite stats that a lot of people expected, including me. Now, when it came to the World Junior Championships with Team Finland, he also disappointed a little bit there. Now, Team Finland went on to win the gold medal, but it really wasn't because of Eli Tolvin. And he had a decent tournament, but he was looked at as a guy that could dominate that tournament when it came to points, and he really did not do that. Now, in the seven games that he played, he ended up playing at four. He ended up getting four assists, which is decent. But again, people expected better, both in the World Juniors and in the AHL. 
But L.A. Tolvanen went from exceeding every single expectation that he had after his draft year in the KHL and then went from that and then going to almost underwhelming stats in the AHL and then the World Juniors. It's funny how it flip-flops like that, but with L.A. Tolvanen, he had some serious hype with those KHL stats, but so far has not been able to live up to it. Now when it comes to Ellie Tolvanen and the stats that he's put up so far, I think it's easy to say that we should worry about him and that his season might not be as good as people were expecting. But when it comes to Ellie Tolvanen, I think the expectations that he had were a little bit unfair. When it came to his KHL stats, that was probably a pretty good year for him, maybe an off year, maybe an off good year. But when it came to Ellie Tolvanen, he was still 18 years old at that point, and to expect him to be that bona fide NHL player might have not been the most realistic expectation. But when it comes to to Ellie Tolvanen, I don't think anybody can deny he still has excellent potential to be a very solid NHL player, even if he might have disappointed this season. And the kid is definitely still a very bright finish prospect. I mean, he turns eight or he turns 20 in April, so it's not like he's this old guy. He's like this 23-year-old guy that had all these expectations and ended up failing. But when it comes to Ellie Tolvin, and it seems like there's been a little bit of a problem adjusting to that North American ice just a little bit, but the stats still are decent, and even though they aren't as good as people might have expected, I don't think we should worry about his career because I think he is just fine. Now for me, my only concern right now is how well he adjusts to that North American ice. Of course, we saw how well he played in the Liga, we saw how well he played in the KHL. Those stats are great to see, but it seems like he's having a little bit of a problem adjusting to that North American ice, which a lot of European prospects do tend to do. It usually takes a little bit of time for them to get developed and to get ready to that. But Ily Tolvanen is one of those examples to where he had that amazing hype, hasn't quite lived up to it, but the kid still has time and he's still 19 years of age. But to say, oh, this kid's career is over, he's not going to be an NHL player, he's not going to be a superstar anymore, I think that is unfair expectations to put on such a young kid. And it's kind of the same situation as a Philip Zania, where he was projected to be a lot better to play in the NHL, to have consistent time, and to do well, but he goes up to the AHL and puts okay stats on the board. They're kind of in two similar situations, but Ely Tolvin and it kind of is a special example because of how well he played in the men's league of the KHL. But when it comes to the KHL and the AHL, obviously, they are two different leagues, and that's why we see so many Russian prospects go to the KHL rather than just float in the AHL. For me personally, while I am starting to fear the idea of him being an NHL superstar, I'm not sure about that anymore. I still think he has bona fide top six talents, and for the National Predators, there might be a little bit of a uh, problem giving him ice time in the future, but he still has excellent potential, and letting him marinate in the AHL, letting him play well in the AHL as a 19-year-old, I think is the good idea for the National Predators, and even though he isn't playing elite status right now, that still doesn't mean that he can't be elite in the future. But for me, I don't think we should be worrying too much about Ellie Tolvanen. He is still a young prospect. He is still of age of 19. He isn't even 20 yet. And I feel like there is still room for him to grow. And let's be honest, it'll just be a matter of time before he's up in the NHL and destroying every goalie's hopes and dreams. But of course, with this video, I want to hear your guys' thoughts down in the comments down below. So let me know what you think about Ellie Tolvanen. What do you think about his slumping stats in the AHL? Are you concerned for his long-term future, or is his future just fine? But if you guys want some more grab videos just like this one, you can click on this card right here to watch my video about Carter Hart and if he can win the Calder Trophy. But that is going up for today, guys. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you haven't already. Again, comment down below your thoughts on Elite Tolvanen and if we should be concerned about his long-term future in the NHL. And I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. Goodbye.